um, which I think they could very easily get a big laning phase uh, lead off of that. And I guess the other thing that kind of stands out to me is the fact that we have Wraith King in the game. And I don't know if that hero is any good. All right, cool, cool. Good. Never mind, never mind. Right. We're running a core Lestrac. Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm it's a fan Jerax on the Wraith King right, cool. and then a core Lestrac played by S4 to three position potentially. A smoked up Triand is going to block the way of a couple people here. They're really smoked up looking for a fight, but I guess we're EG are positioned on the high ground here to make it very difficult for OG to try to invade. I like the positioning from Evil Geniuses right now. This could turn into something a bit sketchy if they're not careful. Ooh, Jarrett's oh, gonna run. Really could. This is not. Oh, Universe walks to the low ground. Wraith Fire Blast. The rest of the squad is here. There's gonna be the Splinter on top. Do they have the damage? They get off the the old the four man Earth Spike. The Ravage. Jarrett goes down to first blood. They even get the Silence up on top of the Phantom Assassin. I cannot believe that happened. It doesn't even matter. Another good Splinter. That'll be on a two. An Earth Spike will find Anna. Catching him, followed by the Magic Missile. Not looking good for OG here. Anna's still trying to run. No creeps to deny himself, too. They need two more auto attacks. There's the one. They up their way through and crit. Oh, crit. oh he what cuts his way in with the Earth Spike. Oh, that was sick. Wow, that was a and great fight for them. they still have enough time to be able to run back and uh, heal up on those supports and TP out to lane. So they, it's not like there's going to be a serious advantage to OG in this in this bottom lane, most likely. So, because uh, Crit will still be able to get there. Uh, so, the Bloodseeker... We, Bloodseeker is at a, a bit of a problem, though. Bloodseeker needs Blood Rage in order to have the sustain against Furion's harassment. And he doesn't have that, nor does he have Tango. Uh, he's already down to one Tango after that fight. So, this is where the disadvantage comes in for Evil Geniuses. Yes, they won the fight, and they got first blood and all of that, but it really does make this 1v1 hell for Universe. Yeah, we'll see how he does it. I mean, it might be a problem for him a little earlier, but later on down the road, perhaps he can get something going. Trilane, they'll throw out the Magic Missile. Earth Spike followed by the Wraith Fire Blast. Here, Spike came through, flies low, and one more auto attack will bring him down. Already this aggressive Trilane losing out on another hero. Arteezy's fine. Jerax is running away. So too is S4. And that's going to be a kill onto the last track. It looks like, I don't know, the Earth Spike just hits. They won't fall him further. As Jarek comes in, Split Earth. Instead, they'll turn around and bring down Arteezy. Jerax will fall. A blood path in this bottom lane. It's a two for one for now. S4 looking for maybe another Split Earth. He's got just enough for it. Crit. Two more auto attacks. Earth Spike, the Ooh. Living Armor, saves him at 20 HP. Keeps him alive. The Split Earth, however, will find Zai. And he'll fall. He doesn't have enough mana for the usage of the Leech Seed or even the Living Armor. It was on cooldown as well. So... Lots of action going on in this lane. They're not done yet. Jerax is running in. Well, he wants to go for a Wraith Fire Blast. It looks like Crit's still here in the tree line trying to clear it. Yep, and looks for another Earth oh, He's going to find it. And he actually gets the kill going through. Still, he gets Wraith Fire Blast. The cast bounces between the two creeps and himself. Now RTZ running in. What's happening? There's so many people dying everywhere. TP from No Tail even. Everybody's getting involved. Crit somehow still alive, which I can't believe. Jerex has a Wraith Fire Blast. Crit makes it out. He might actually be fine. They turned his eye. They turned to Arteezy. They can't choose a target to go on. Pick somebody. Split it. Oh, it doesn't hit. Arteezy dodges it. Now the edict is All up. Right, he will done. inevitably fall. What is... What? What? Oh, man. Crit played that like a god. Good lord. That, that was actually so clutch by him. He's 3 0 and 2. And he's oh going to Oh my god, mid. he's going to snipe the he's courier. Gonna go, is he gonna kill, he's either going to go for Anna or he's going to get this courier. And they have no or dire both. vision here to seize this. He might get both of them. Oh, it's coming back. Kurt's going to find the courier with oh, two auto attacks. Jesus See you Christ. later. Oh my god. Yeah, Kurt is flying out of his mind right now, Cap. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? <gasps> god damn. I'm hard. I don't know about you, Mod, but uh, I, I, I'm, I'm fully well. erect right now. Me too. Cool. And they're not done, though. Zai is going to get caught bottom splitter. Living armor, the double earth by Crit. Are you kidding me? How do you keep getting off these stuns? And now Jerex has to back away the Wraith Fire Blast. We'll get the kill. Good splitter onto two. Fly. I think he had already used the cast at the same time. Five to four, three minutes into the game cap. A courier's already died, and Crit has made some of the best plays you'll ever see on an uh, Alliant this early on in the game. They have given Universe a total free lane, uh, but somehow No-Tail is still neck and neck in experience with him because of oh. all that action that he was able to be a part of at the yeah. bottom lane. So, uh, 
OG definitely win out in many ways. They got the power. They didn't, like, it's not like Universe got a gigantic lead off of being given all that safe space. Wait, that um, tower's already dead? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that tower died real quickly. That's yeah. the power of Fury on when you go and aggro Chai Lane. Yeah. He comes over, so... And now Crit wanting to cause even more chaos. It's smoked up. Running past mid to the top rune spot. Another TP will come in this time from OG. They'll grab Fly in. He can help out with the cask. They'll walk up. Crit, spend spotted. Fly, probably an easy kill here. The Hex up, the Leech Seed is going to go as well. Leaves the Stifling Dagger. Fly uses his stick, pops the cask off, but there's no follow-up. And so a nice little easy kill on his support. They probably wanted to get Ana, but what are you going to do? Uh, the man fight at bottom lane. It looks like RTZ is trying to man oh, up against edict. S4. Edict. And S4 just doesn't run after him. They He's got so many uh, magic wand charges on RTZ that if yeah. S4 actually tried to challenge, he would lose that fight, I'm pretty yeah. sure. So, let's just take a break. Let's slow it down after that. I don't know what you want to call it, early game. But, uh, looking at the situation CS-wise, like you talked about, Universe has a small advantage in terms of his CS, as well as, of course, the TA mid for Snail. So, so far, so good. Rupture Jerex is, is going to come out. It looks like top lane. Jerex will just go for the TP. Crit's not there for Earth Spike. It's Aww. too late. And, of course, it wasn't quite close enough. And we'll not be able to catch him on. And so that, that first Rupture is not going to be successful. Stifling Dagger will go. They should have the Refraction ready. Not only that, but they dropped the side trap on the ground. So there's not really any way for them to bring down Sumail in this instance. But he'll keep getting Stifling Dagger. And another hero is going to be coming in. This will be No-Tail ready to try to push. It's Push Trap, baby. Got the trance here. I don't know if they're actually going to really go for it or not, but they really they want to take down these towers and try to fight early yeah, and they, often for OG. They want to take the outer towers before the train protector gets those higher levels of living armor. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure evil geniuses are going to win out in this exchange ultimately because they, they can bring Bloodseeker to one of these team fights. Um, and, Spike, and Jerax, oh, they were not expecting the invis rune from Sumail. And now another TP coming in. It's the Bloodseeker magic missile. Fly's gone in too deep. The silence will hit onto well, no one. They'll walk out in time. Fly has the Buddha restoration, but no more cask. And with another auto attack, they will grab the kill as universe. Good split Earth, but Anna trying to jump and get to S4. However, the Earth Spike in time from crit. And EG, you went out as you expected oh, yeah. this fight uh, going their way. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say, right? You give this hero a solo. Uh, you know, a solo lane, and he's able to get uh, an okay amount of farm, get upgraded boots, and get to level 6. You continue to 5-man like this, you are just opening yourself up to the power of the Bloodseeker. Like, he is going to revel in the fact that you have a bunch of low-level low, uh, low level heroes that are easily brought down to half HP by one nuke, and he's just going to get huge amounts of, of thirst buffs uh, off of a single, elimination, uh, single initiation from EG. So it's not surprising at all to me that they were able to hold that mid-tower, win out in the team fight, and now they're going to heal that Tier 1 tower up to full. All that 5-manning that OG has done... Uh, just immediately bites them in the ass. They they no longer have any advantage whatsoever. But OG, they still have the Phantom Assassin. I'm not farming very well, obviously, but I mean, this this, this looks already really bad. Is it as bad as it looks for OG right now? Yes, it, it really is. They need the Phantom Assassin because it's kind of like last game where this buildup of OG is, I think, uh, a rather natural buildup and you're going to reach a certain peak up at about 25, 30 minutes. But I think past that, and Templar Assassin starts getting really big. Um, and Bloodseeker with all the free farm that he's going to be granted and all the hero kills that he naturally gets in, in the team fights that are going to follow, are he's also going to end up getting very far ahead. And I think that OG are just not going to be able to take enough app control, and EG are just going to get... Um, or their cores are just going to be too strong. Already pretty strong as it stands now. Universe continuing to get farmed. It looks like he has the Staff of Wizard Reef for his first item. Now there's the cast coming in. The False Nova, Split Earth. They will bring him down, it looks like. The TP from No-Tail as well, just to get the assist. And they're going to transition this into a tower push. Mid lane, it looks like there may be some encroachment coming in for the raiding team. As That's going to be it. I think it looks like they're just going to just take this tier 2 tower, at least put a lot of pressure on it. Whether or not they back away remains to be seen. S4 looking for, I think, a bottom rune, which is a double damage. Get some mana, come back and do the edict work on the tower. Do have crit rotating over. Maybe some TP's going to come shortly. The tier 1 tower top lane is going to taken down by RTZ, but a tier 2 for tier 1. Let's see. 
think with this sort of lineup, uh, Evil Geniuses should be more willing to play defensive rather than offensive. Um, they should be looking to defend towers rather than try and pressure the enemy team's towers, um, just because they have such good reactive heroes. Oh, Universe. Blood Earth not going yet. He's rather speedy. Good hex up to Pulse Nova. Didn't do enough damage. There's the rupture. There's going to be the silence on top. And there's the overgrowth. What a combination. They should have some damage here to bring at least one of these heroes down. S4 is completely out of mana. Still ruptured up. And we'll lose it in a moment here. But crit and him man fighting. S4 has the extra damage from the double damage room. The year spike on it too. Zai still invised up. Now the salves oh, very far coming out. S4 can't get enough damage to bring down Universe. Casper's got to come through, but it doesn't do enough. Now there's going to be the side trap. No tail. Trying to keep you away. It looks like he will make it in time. Fly. Not going to be so lucky. There's nothing he can do to get out of this. His cask is on cooldown. He will use his stick charge. But a couple more of auto attacks will do the job. And it's going to be the blood rage. That's uh, the blood right, excuse me, that gets the kill with the universe getting the last right push. Ooh. Oh, Anna should go. Anna's oh, no. jumping in. He got Earth Spike. He just came right through. That meld strike is dodged from the blur, but... I don't know if it's going to be really helpful. He's got his Phantom Strike in about five seconds to get up into the high ground. He might just be able to walk through. Another side trap coming out. Zai still trying to yep. get him the Hammer Fist, and the Phantom Strike is there in time. They can't quite bring anybody down from EG in that fight. OG doing what they can. Nice meld actually dodges the Stifling Dagger. Not only that, the Blink Dagger is done for the Templar Assassin. The top three net worth in EG's favor. And OG are really starting to get pretty far behind here. Yeah, I, I like what OG is attempting to do. They're always initiating on the Bloodseeker first. Um, because as you can see, if the Bloodseeker survives, he just cleans up hero kills. Oh, Sumail. Split Earth, Pulse Nova. Might be enough. Refraction's up in five. They have the mana for this. They absolutely do. Sumail's just dead. They get the kill. The, the help came a little bit too late. Phantom Strike. Anna is going in again hard. The Rupture comes out. The Lightning Storm coming in. Another good overgrowth into the Blood Rite coming out, which should silence just about everyone. It does. A significant amount of damage. The Finger coming through. Anna low. About to fall. The Lesh Rack will go first. And Anna goes down. Anna goes down right after. RTG finds himself a Magic Missile. Jerax, no ultimate. And it's going to be a double kill for Universe. Four dead again from OG. And EG just get every single fight going their way. It almost feels like OG with the fights they're taking. They're throwing their bodies at Evil Geniuses. That's what it looked to be when Anna jumped in anyway. Yeah, their supports are just so underleveled. They don't have, like, the Wraith King reincarnation uh, to reliably have him frontline for the team. They don't have the higher levels of Buddha Restoration to give them all sustain uh, against Bloodseeker and his thirst. Like, they need these items, these these abilities, not items, just straight up experience to, to be able to combat uh, Bloodseeker in, in team fights. Uh, either now, that or they always get the initiation and they reliably blow them up, but that just hasn't happened at the last two engagements. Last time they tried um, at that bottom lane, they tried to go on the Bloodseeker, they just didn't quite have enough uh, wow. to be able to nuke him down. It's even harder as he has the Force Staff now to get away from a, a PA trying to bring him down with a Stifling Dagger or Phantom Strike. It's, it's going to be better for him to get out of a situation like... I don't know, a, a split earth cast or something along those lines. He's got the four step for extra mobility. It's a lot harder for OG to deal with this now. The blood rate is up again. The sounds is trying to hit. Double TP coming in. Crit, earth spike not hitting. Anna still getting out. Rupture's ready to go. Jarek's looking to cover the retreat as well as fly nearby to help out if need be. And EG will just focus their attentions back towards farming. They've, they've rotated everybody in mid, but they can kind of just split up and do their own thing. Whereas OG, they're trying to push this bottom lane. The Dragon Lance is up for no tail. Everyone's in the jungle. Zai is looking to scout this out. Nature's guys is up. He'll find S4. The sentries drop down. He doesn't, I don't think, actually spot him at the end there. Crit will D ward in the meantime on the river. And it's just little by little, EG. And they're just choking out the map. I mean, it's not even like they're really across the river taking control of the enemy side, but. EG definitely have the advantage here. Yeah, it's pretty rough because OG uh, are going to miss their timing. They were grouped up in that area because they wanted to play off this mid ward that they had behind the time warp, but that's about to fade. Um, their other aggressive ward just got just got taken out in the mid lane, and their bottom ward's going to go away. So once that vision is gone, they can't play reliably aggressive and go for these pickoffs um, as much as they would like to. So I think they have to like do some sort of smoke and push into the jungle and reestablish that vision because otherwise EG are just going to out efficiency you with with these kind of heroes. Look, Bloodseeker is great at being able to take over neutrals. You have TA to to be able to utilize ancients. These are things that OG are not able to do. Um, with their heroes. The most they can do is just try and split push you a little bit more efficiently with Furion.
Artis is getting ganked, but even with that haste rune, S4 knows he might not be able to do enough. There's three heroes here, but they have the living armor. And if Zai really needs to, he's got the overgrowth. They even give him the nature's guys, and it's time to leave. Swap back is available, and Justin rages no tail. He's going to use the wave first. Swap back. That magic missile, Leech Seed about to go, has already used it back. Now there's a death ward coming up, but the overgrowth will stop it from happening. It looks like they will lose no tail momentarily. And Universe is coming in looking for more. Magic missile find out fly on the Witch Doctor. Blood Rite might take him down and will. Two dead, they've already TP uh, another out of there. S4 was able to make it to the top lane, and now they're looking for Sumail. He has no refraction, getting caught. He's in trouble. He's gonna try to swap, and now he's just gonna get the living armor going to work. He needs to bring down S4, and he will. Universe gets a double, and a Earth Spike just narrowly missing. Crit was almost right on point with his Earth Spike. That was blind. Three dead again for OG. Evil geniuses have won every single fight since maybe about the fifth minute. And uh, really, they've not had any troubles throughout this game they've always had the lead continue to do so at least og get that uh, offlane tower that is important against a tree and protector they might get rtz too although again zai's nearby to help out living armor overgrowth shouldn't be available he's very low living armor might be it might not be enough he could have swapped somebody back and tried to help him out but now zai getting caught they have no vision they have the sentry down for jerex if they need it and they will Great fire blast is back up followed by the stifling dagger finally a fight that og can take zai will drop down and involved is Anna, Jerex, as well as Fly, getting some much-needed gold. They, uh, did, they get back on the board. Did you notice that they were trying to do with RTZ? With when they got caught like that, they were making the call. They're like, just kill the tower, and I'll try and invis you. So if RTZ could have killed the tower, if it was a little bit lower, he might have been able to escape off of Nature's Guys. But jeez, no tail TPing in. Literally doing no damage to the universe <laughs> yeah. as he TPs out, and you know, no tail is just like, God damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> Have so mercy scary. on poor S4. I, I, right, like, <laughs> he's gonna he get blown throw, up. He can't throw damage around. Like, he just can't in these team fights because he is gonna. Blood if you're not has blown more up HP by, than you, and if, if, blood rage. Uh, if you're not gonna get blown up by the blade mail, it's going to be the damn desolator that the ETA just picked up. One of those two things are going to blow you away, as little Shrek, yeah. without a ghost scepter. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Not only that, the Hurricane Pike is close to completion for RTZ. Other items coming out for EG. Crit. He's had a great game, but he's not quite at his Blink Dagger yet. He's very close. He is very, very close. I will give him that. And then we've already talked about Universe's Blade Mail. I mean, all they need to do is keep the pressure up, find the, the, the best fights for them. You know, maybe play as five if you would like to for EG. Or just take Roche first and foremost. That'll do the work. That'll do the job. And they're they're doing it pretty quickly. Yeah. Between Meld and Blood Rage. Wave of Terror 2. No. Desolator. Thing's dead. They're gonna come yeah. over, but it, it's gonna be too late. The smoke is there. And they make the back call. Fly says, nope. Jarek says, yeah, I think I'll follow you. And the Aegis is picked up by RTZ. But still on the hunt with Zai, with Nature's Guys. He's very speedy. They, He's walking they can around. instantly kill any core they want with this combination. They Blood Rage, Force Staff him, Hurricane Pike him, swap. Instantly. Any core is dead. <laughs> They're just dead from that. Do they that even need damage. that many like four staffs or swaps? They, I, I feel mean, like the squishier heroes like S4. Yeah, hey, hey, it probably doesn't take that much to kill him. No, for uh, sure. maybe No Tail is you know he's the one hero you might have to do that full combination against. But it's so good that they have a core that also oh, builds. Oh, poor crit. Fight. Poor crit's blown away. It's four versus five now. Reincarnation has gone. They're looking for Jerex a second time. And they should find it. Rupture's also been used on the other side on Anna, so he can get jumped on. Universe is about to force staff him, it looks like, and does. And then he'll just die to an auto attacker and earn. The second force staff gets the kill. It's the hurricane fight from Ortiz that does the job. Either are having a lot of fun this game, and I can't say that I'm not, because I, I'm actually enjoying this uh, this combination of force staffs pretty highly. Still, though, OG, they're in a rough spot for themselves, and we might be going to game five, my friend. Uh, we definitely are. Uh, there's, there's this white blood seeker should should never be buffed too much because it's funny right now. But imagine if this was a common occurrence where you would just get ruptured and you would be dying to like four staffs and swaps. Like uh, that's just no fun. That's cancerous Dota right there. Oh god, S4 is dead. No tail keeping in. He might die too. Melt strike brings him pretty low. Swaps on cooldown. Great fire blast. Might have stayed too long. Perhaps not. Buyback coming in from S4. Overgrowth coming out. The blood right on top as well. Rupture down for another three seconds. Look at that damage. The blur only saves him for a moment longer. Then we'll fall. RTG finds himself a double kill. S4 is like, I just died to this melt freaking desolator damage. 
jump forward. RTZ forces himself up the rupture on S4. He's running away. He can't run much farther without dying. Splitter is about to go on to two. It looks like, nope, doesn't get cast. As of course, now he's forced forward. Does end up getting the Splitter off, but also dies to the feet of Universe, who just cleaves him down with his daggers, his blades. Fly will be next, perhaps. Artizi still has that Aegis the Finger. Crit gets the kill secure, and then dances and swags along with it. OG, and five men left into a quick GG, 18 minutes in. Game number five, right around the corner for Elimination Mode 2.0. Ooh, I am so hyped for this game five, because <laughs> we, if we made it this far, I want to go all the way, right? I want to see what the two truly most disgusting sitting at the bottom of the trench garbage dumpster tier